evening, YouTubers. The new Time Travel High Me 88. I'm back with another Doctor Who DVD review. And yes, we still celebrating Doctor Who's 50th anniversary. Tonight, I'm still going to do the best of Doctor Who story. This time, we focusing on the fifth Doctor, Peter Davison. That's right. I'm focusing the fifth Doctor by selecting 10 stories from his era. So, without further ado, let's begin. The first DVD that I pick is his first ever appearances, Castavalva. Oh, yes. Castavalva is a very good opening story to Doctor Who. And the Master kidnaps Adric and the travel in planet Castavalva. The all things caught in a space times, yeah, you know. Anyway, it's a great episode. Uh, the four part adventure originally transmitted on January 4th and 5th, 11th, and 12th, 1982, and broadcast in two weekly parts twice a week. Space Time Trap, that's the doctor says. The next up I pick from his era is Kenda. Oh yes, I do remember this story. Kenda's one of the, probably my favorite Fifth Doctor stories of all time. When Tegan gets possessed by the evil Mara. And is also... One of his men became acting bizarre until Adric interferes with the Kinder tribe. The four-part story, originally transmitted on February 1st and the 2nd, 8th and 9th, 1982. One of my favorite stories. The next up I selected is a very historical story, Black Orchid. Yes, this is one of my favorite Peter Davison stories ever. And Sarah Salton plays dual roles as Nyssa and, and Talbot. And I have to figure out the whodunit mystery. Sort of look like Clue. But it turned out to be George is the one for the murder. Awesome adventure and good story. The four-part story, I mean two-part story, sorry, originally transmitted on March 1st and 2nd, 1982. Good two-part adventure. Our next story is one of my favorite Cybermen story, Earthshock. Uh, this is a very awesome adventure, and it's sad to see Matthew Waterhouse go. That's when the Cybermen took over the space station and the TARDIS. At the end, Adric sacrificed himself and blew up all the entire Cybermen. And, and you see at the closing credits, there's no music at the end. It's just credits rolled up in silent. This four-part story originally transmitted on March 8th through 16th, 1982. Our next story I pick up, Snake Dance. Ah, oh, this is one of the great episodes. And the first TV appearances are Martin Clunes from TV's Doc Martin. Tegan gets possessed again by the evil Mara until the doctor breaks a spell. And I tell you, this is the one the heck of a story. I love this adventure. And this four-part story, originally transmitted on January 18th and the 19th, 25th, and 26th, 1983. Next story is Margin Undead from the Black Guardian Trilogy. And I tell you, this is a good episode. It marks the return of the Brigadier, Nicholas Courtney, and also 
the first appearances of Tolo and the return of the evil Black Guardian. The four-part story originally transmitted on February 1st and 2nd through 8th and 9th, 1983. Our next story I pick is a multi-anniversary. The Five Doctors. My gosh, this special is 30 years old. Wow, how time flies. And this is the great multi-Doctor Who story. And too bad Tom Baker not participating in the episode due to a confident dispute with J producer John Nathan Turner. So his footage has been incorporated into Shada. And that's when all the doctors been taken out of time and put into the death zone. Richard Herdo did a wonderful job playing the first doctor. This Maltese doctor story, The Five Doctor, the 90 minute special, originally transmitted on November 25th, 1983. That's tomorrow. Boy, tomorrow is The Five Doctor's 30th anniversary. I remembered, I think I'm going to, I already did a review on that. Anyway. Next up, The Awakening. Good two-part story. It introduced Tegan's grandfather in this particular episode. It kind of like medieval England barricaded into the present 1984 in London. Awesome episode. The two-part adventure originally transmitted on January 19th through the 20th, 1984. Next up... Resurrection of the Daleks. Well, this is a great, awesome Dalek story. I love this adventure. And Tegan's farewell departure. And the return of Daros, played by the great Terry Molloy. Did a wonderful job. But also the first appearances of Leiden. But he'll be back in the Colin Baker story, Attack of the Cybermen. One of my favorite. The four-part story, or I say two-part, excuse me, originally transmitted on February 18th through the 15th, 1984. Instead of broadcasting in four parts, they decided to put it in two parts due to the BBC's 1984 Winter Olympic coverage. And finally, I pick from his adventure, the case of Andrzejani, special edition. The case of Andrzejani is a very well ending to Peter Davison Tenture as the Fifth Doctor. And Selton Jack, wonderful job. And Perry, a great companion too. And this is the story I saw it while I was five years old back in 1993 when it aired on MPT, a PBS station in Baltimore. Anyway, the four-part story, originally transmitted on March 8th and 9th, 15th and 16th, 1984. And the first appearances of Colin Baker at the end. Okay, folks, let me line back up. Okay, let me. Right, let's line back. Okay, guys, let me. Okay, let's line back up. Okay, all right, let me line you up. Okay, that's it for the best of Doctor Who stories to Peter Davison. Make sure to comment down below. Tomorrow is the best we're going to do the sixth Doctor, Colin Baker. Till then, rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Take care.